So in honor of St. Patrick's Day coming up, I'm going to be making two recipes that are going to honor the Emerald Isle. So stick around. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chu on Vegan. Welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN. I follow a whole food plant-based way of eating. On my channel, you're going to find quick and easy recipes. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe so you don't miss a video and be sure to hit that notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram for more plant-based content. Be sure to check out the links below for the full recipes and for all the resources that I offer. So St. Patrick's Day is coming up and according to 23andMe, I am 90% Irish and British and most of it is in Ireland. If you look at the map of Ireland and where my ancestors are located mostly are in Ireland. I went to Ireland a while ago and I just felt so at home there. I felt like I belong there. It was really interesting. So there's a special place in my heart for Ireland and the people there. So I think it's very appropriate that the two recipes I'm going to be making today, I'm going to be using my favorite protein powder, Earth Shimp. And Earthchimp is a company that is located in Ireland. So I'm going to be making two recipes today. I will be making high protein pancakes and I'm going to be making a shamrock shake, a healthy vegan shamrock shake. So if that sounds good to you, I hope you stick around for these two recipes. This protein powder is super clean. It's organic. It's got probiotics. It has no oil. It's delicious. It comes in vanilla and chocolate, and I think they are going to be announcing a new flavor very soon. All right, let's get started. We're going to start with the pancakes, and we're going to move on to the shamrock shake. I started recording and forgot to hit record, so that didn't work out too well. So I already have some oats in here and my protein powder. Then we're going to add a couple other things here. I'm going to add some flax seed. And this is whole, but you want to make sure you grind it up. And that's why I use a high speed blender because it will pulverize those flax seeds. Then I've got some cinnamon and baking powder. And then depending on how green you want it, because we want to make these look like the Emerald Isle, I've got some spirulina, which is a great antioxidant and helps reduce inflammation. So that's really good to throw in there. And then I've got about four ounces of tofu, any kind you want to use. This is extra firm. You could use silken, just firm, whatever. It doesn't matter. Then I've got a cup of plant milk, which is soy because it's more protein. So I'm going to go blend this up. And if I need to make it thinner, I'll just add some water. It's real simple. And then I'm going to get my griddle out, get that preheating, and then we're going to make these delicious pancakes. So you got this beautiful green color. We're just gonna pour it directly onto our griddle here. Kids will love these green pancakes. And we will just cook these like regular pancakes. When they start to bubble and get dry around the edges, we'll flip them. So one serving is going to be five pancakes. I've got a tablespoon of maple syrup. Mmm. And this stack of pancakes is 360 calories and it is 21 grams of protein. Let's cut into it and see the beautiful color. I'm very excited about this. What do you think? How fun is that? I love it. All right, let's give it a taste. All right, let's give these green beauties a taste. Perfect. Whoops. Mmm. So you've got five.
pancakes for your serving, under 500 calories, 21 grams of protein, can't really beat it. And St. Patrick's Day is on Sunday, so what a fun thing to do for your fam on Sunday morning is to make these green pancakes. One little thing I'll tell you is, is in between making your pancakes, you've got three or four on the griddle, your batter will thicken up a little bit, so if you wanna just add a little bit of water to it, that's fine. But I got 10 pancakes out of this recipe, and this is two servings, so five per person. All right, let's move on to our shamrock shake. Protein shamrock shake. We've got a couple frozen bananas in here and a medjool date. I've got a half a cup of spinach. This is gonna help with the color, but it's also gonna add some more nutrients in here. I've got a scoop of my Earth Chimp protein powder, the vanilla flavor, because I want this to be a nice vanilla flavor. I've got a cup of soy milk. I'm gonna do a quarter teaspoon of mint extract here. You could do an eighth of it, depending on how minty you want it. Um, I'm gonna use a quarter teaspoon. And then a teaspoon of vanilla, just to boost up that vanilla flavor even more. And then of course, I'm gonna add in my spirulina because I want it to be really green. And we're also adding in some great antioxidants. I'm gonna blend this up and it's gonna take a couple times. I'm gonna blend, scrape down the sides. If you need to add a little bit more liquid, I would just add a little bit more water, but not too much, just a little bit at a time. Um, but you want it the consistency of like a milkshake. So let me go blend this up and then I'm gonna show you the final result. All right, look at that beautiful green color. Yummy. And I'm gonna to top it with some almond whipped cream. Look at that, gorgeous. And you are ready for St. Patrick's Day. So this recipe makes one shake and it is 370 calories and 21 grams of protein. Now compare that to a McDonald's shamrock shake. Yeah, way better choice. Let's give this a taste. All right, so let's give this a taste. Looks yummy. Mm. It's so good. It's nice and cold. It has a really potent vanilla flavor, which is exactly what I wanted. And to know this has got 21 grams of protein is great. And even with the whipped cream, it's still under 400 calories. So this is a great special treat for St. Patrick's Day, and I hope you give it a try. And I hope you enjoy St. Patrick's Day, whether you're Irish or not. It's a great day to celebrate life and just be thankful for everything you have and enjoy these two great recipes that I think uh, your family, friends will enjoy. If you like this video, if you learned something, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you've made it this far in the video, comment below with St. Patrick's Day. And that way I know you made it to the end with me and I really appreciate it. Remember, all my recipes are good for you, they're good for the animals, and they're good for the planet, and what you put on your plate determines your fate and your weight. Until next time, thank you. In honor of St. Patrick's Day, I'm gonna be making two recipes that, I don't know what I'm saying. In honor of St. Patrick's Day, I'm gonna be making, if that sounds, 